Hello there, my friends, and welcome to Free Games Part 349. Today, I have prepared for you quite a lot of very interesting games. All the links and the timestamps are in the description below. Now, let us start. The first game for today is Town of Salem 2. The trailer will speak for itself. The ultimate game of social deduction. <laughs> A seemingly innocent town turns deadly at night. Uncover secrets, use your wits, and survive. But be careful who you trust. What is it, General? My lord, Admiral Ozil watched TK's video, but didn't subscribe and didn't leave a like. What? Lord Vader, the fleet has moved out of light speed and we're preparing to... You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. <laughs> Grapple Tournament is a VR grappling hook shooter with a 3D movement freedom. It is an older game, but recently became free to play. The hardest game ever. The developer describes it as an insanely difficult precision platformer. Framzen is a turn-based RPG set in a dystopian steampunk world. Iron Wolf Free Non-VR Edition. It was originally designed for VR. This version includes all of the missions from the original. It doesn't have everything what the VR version has, but it's still worth to mention. And maybe the devs will improve this non-VR version in the future. You can play it alone or in co-op. Race me now! is a single-player racing game. Apple of Vare Collection. I read it like this because it's not a W but two Vs. It's a collection of quite cool mini-games. The title of this game is in Czech language, so I will try to read it. <clears throat> Kledba v lčicho moru, what means the curse of the wolf plague. And it's a 2D hand-drawn platformer, which takes place in a fantasy environment set in Czechia. They make a great beer, by the way. Glitchers, hack em up is a casual beat-em-up fantasy game with a puzzle twist. Andromeda is a retro sci-fi side-scrolling space shooter. Mission Space is a game where you can build your own ship, gather resources and such. The trailer has no sound, so I will whistle for you. <coughs> so 
suspicious shuffle free for all is a collection of mini games that you can play solo 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 or online in co-op and pvp uh this is a full free version but from what i under understand the dev also made a paid version if anyone would like to uh, show some support and buy it Bounce Trails is a precision platformer with 30 levels that will test your patience. And you're a blue ball. Nano War Cells vs. Virus. I'm not sure if I didn't include this one um, earlier, but uh, anyway, it's a a real-time strategy where, well, you fight viruses. Panther is a VR physics-based social app where you can interact with the environment, play minigames, or just hang out with your friends, or make new ones. Wait, what? What kind of a place is that? I'm out of here. Somebody gonna get stabbed. Steampunk Jigsaw Puzzles. The title explained it all. Strong Blade Puzzle Quest and Match 3 Adventure is exactly what the title says. It has in-app uh, transactions so you might get to the point where uh, advancing will be very hard without spending money and you know what I think about uh, such greedy practice. When you hit the wall, uninstall and move on. And we are done, my friends! <laughs> that was quite a short video for so many games because we just saw 17 of them. Speaking of uh, short, uh, does anyone know if uh, subscribers get notifications about uh, YouTube shorts? Because I kinda want to start making them, uh, because I think it's quite a good idea to bring more viewers, uh, so our free games empire grows in strength. Uh, but like I mentioned uh, before, uh, do subscribers get notifications? Because I don't want to, uh, you know, spam people with that. If you know the answer, Please let me know in the comments. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, so, have a great Saturday, great Sunday, Monday, whole week. Yes. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.